What's up everybody, Derek Ting here. All right, so this video is about adjusting the audio levels um, for doing transitions, uh, changing the volume level, uh, things like that so that it can help you produce a video, whether it's to promote your business, start your channel, uh, make a short film or a feature film. This is a crucial technique that's gonna help you out. So I hope before we start that you'll like and subscribe to the channel because there's lots of videos like this coming along. And uh, so let's get started. Let's start with, we're going to play only with this main audio here. Um, and then uh, I'm going to show you how to change the levels. I'm going to show you how to do some simple transitions and add some keyframes. And that's about it. That's going to be the scope of the tutorial. All right, so let's go. Um, just simple viewing options here. You can view the waves here like this, like that. Um, I'm going to stick to this one because you can kind of just see the whether you're peaking or not. I mean, if these if this goes above or hits the line, that means you're going to be in the red. So um, I like that one. If you had multi more than one audio channel, you could do that using that the display individual audio channels with a right click. Um, but we're going to go back here because this is one lapel mic, so I only really need to see the waveform of one audio file. Um, if I want to change the general level of this, I could just kind of lower it. And um, if you know anything about audio, decibels is kind of generally the loudness of something. Um, in this case, because there's a couple things touching the top, I'm just going to lower it a little bit. Um, I'm going to bring up here the mixer. And uh, when you play back, to video, whether it's to you can see if there's any kind of peaking. Channel, it's really um, to your choice, but film, if you see any reds there, you, maybe you want to lower it a little bit. So we'll just lower this a little bit. To help you out. So and now we start, we're not hitting, getting too much peaking. There's lots of videos like this coming along. So there's lots of ways to manipulate audio. Um, but again, we're being very, very basic here. Um, so that's one way to just generally change the entire clip's loudness. Um, so now let's go into how to change it if um, you just want certain parts to change the, the loudness. So down over here in the bottom right, you can click here and you can easily add frame keyframes. So let's say, for example, over here, there's a break and I wanted to uh, lower the audio for this for one portion of the video. So I'm gonna add a keyframe. Then let's say I wanted only this part here to be lower level. I'd add another keyframe. And then in between, let's go over using the arrow keys, a couple frames here, add another keyframe. And over here, another keyframe here. And then I hover over the levels and I lower it and you can see when I play it back. Before we start, that you like and subscribe to the channel because there's lots of videos like this coming along. And uh, so, okay. So pretty straightforward on how to do that. If you want to use your keyboard here, um, on Apple, I think it's option. Okay, I think on the, um, so Mac, Mac OS X is option, but if it's Windows, I think it's the alt key. Um, but I can add different keyframes here using the option key, right? And then go back to my arrow arrow tool here and bring it down so I can lower different levels. Make a short film or feature film. This is a crucial technique that's going to help you out. So hope okay, so pretty cool, right? Um, now imagine this: you add some music, you can add different layers, you can play with the volume raise the music up, lower the music, raise the dialogue up, lower the dialogue. Um, so there's lots of um, things you can do with just these simple techniques. If you want to um, do this in Spectre, in Inspector, you can do it. I've seen people do that in Inspector, but I'm not necessarily a fan of doing it that way because it's, um, it's not what I'm used to, but you can click on Inspector. I've selected the audio here. And um, let's see over here, I think I can add a keyframe, pressing this button, because this is how you add keyframes. 
So same thing, it adds a dot for you. Um, you know, and do that there. And you can see why I don't do this in Inspector. I mean, you might play it back and use your playback keys, but I think just working over here, you're not moving the mouse so much and you can just kind of drag and, and, add, and add different levels. If this part right here, it seems to go away from me a lot of times, and um, I was searching on the web on how to like activate it, but it didn't seem to like, I couldn't find anything in search. Um, but if that happens, add a keyframe, right? Add a keyframe, and then it tends to just come back and know. Um, okay, so there's other options. You can change the curve of your, um, you can change the curve of, of, um, of your, of your transitions here. I don't use it as much. I'm not like, um, sorry. Maybe I need to do it to, uh, to another one here. Okay. So let's move on to, um, adding, um, uh, transitions like a crossfade. You can do that by right clicking on the edge of something and then adding a crossfade. So select the number of frames here, and then you can just kind of drag however long you want it to be. It's coming along. And uh, so let's get started. See how it just kind of fades out. That's how you do that. If for example, I wanted to, if I cut out a piece of a clip here and I just wanted to do some transitioning here. I could, let's say I cut this, I cut this part of the clip out here and I brought this together. Let's say I wanted to crossfade this audio a little bit. I could just add a six frame crossfade. See how that shows there. And then the other weathers, uh, make a short film or a feature film. This is a crucial technique that. So not for the video, maybe I would add something here on top, but for the audio, it. It's um, a little bit more seamless, and this'll, this'll be more effective when you uh, do music. Okay, um, so yeah, that's about it. I think that's, that's generally how you would change the levels of your audio to view it, to add some simple transitions to your audio. Take these kind of, um, you know, uh, these tools, and then, um, you know, you'll expand upon your video and try to do different things with it. Um, but, uh, really cool stuff. I hope you'll like and subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.